2019 here in Birmingham in the UK. I, of course, am Viram, and with me... Itano Circus. What's going on, all of my Itano maniacs and my circus freaks? Pleasure to be with you here at Region 2019 at 7 Cannon Street in beautiful Birmingham. What is going on today, Viram? We've got Mr. R and Maggi coming up on the stream first for the people today. Yes, we do. We have Mr. R playing a plethora of characters. He has the Crom, the Roy, the Snake, and the Inkling, and of course, Maggi busting out the Wolf. I think that out of those characters from Mr. R, we're most likely going to see the Inkling. I feel like that's probably the character that he'll feel most comfortable versus Wolf. Yes. In, but a, a way to weave in and out of those gigantic and critical hitboxes is going to be critical for Mr. R, I feel anyway. If you take a look at his journey here, he had to go through Toast in Top 64, and then everybody remembers that nail-biting set that he had with Demon V yesterday. Yes, he, yes. He will feel quite, he will, I feel like he'll feel quite blessed that he's gotten here so comfortably so far. Mm -hmm. But obviously he's going to be doing his best to reassert his dominance back on the EU scene. Because I don't think I've seen a tournament with him here so far. Yeah, definitely a stroke of good fortune for Mr. R in that Demon B set. He did he was very close to losing, but unfortunately FD's coming out from Demon B in that set. Meanwhile, Magi on the other side coming through, uh, beating Vulcan and Aperture to make it into winner side top 32. Clean two O's all round. Um He's been a very strong player ever since ever since he um ever since he was playing Bowser Jr. But obviously yeah. coming in with this game, he's gone with the pick a top tier mentality, and he is he want he wants priority, top tier privilege, and he's having his way with this tournament so far. So I'm really I'm really looking forward to see how he does against top top tier opposition today. I think his his. His ledge trapping game is going to be absolutely crucial in how he can keep Mr. R in his own disadvantage state. And if that doesn't work for him, I feel that's how I feel like Mr. R gets this game. Definitely. Get Mr. R is just so good at so many areas of the game. He's so good at neutral, he's so good at ledge trapping. Those are probably two of the most, uh, two of the aspects of the game that Mr. R is known for. So if Magic is not able to get a leg up on him in those areas, it's definitely going to be difficult. One thing that Magic said yesterday, though, was that. He's coming into this hungover. He's coming into this, you know, having a great night out yesterday. I think a few so. of us are. <laughs> and, they, and they just got straight underway. And there we go, Mr. R winning the first neutral exchange, sending sending Magi towards the ledge, and he's coated him in a thick coat of paint right there. Everything's going to be dealing a significant amount more damage right now. Look at that, three hits, two jab combos, and that forward air already did almost like 17. Smash tag, 82% from four attacks coming up from Mr. R. That is just the power of Inkling when she gets moving. Yep, a well-experienced whiff punish there. He whiffed, he caught him reaching. You reach, I teach, taught him with a smash attack. There we go. coming out from Magi, piling on that damage. Steady, steadily, bit by bit, but... This is this is the spacing game. That's where Magi really needs to put, put pile on the pressure when he has Mr. R's back to the ledge because that's where Wolf thrives. Mr. R, whiffing him up here. Nice parry. Read that he cross up. Did not get his way, unfortunately. Small punish, but again, we're seeing all these fares coming out from Magi. No real big explosive punishes. Almost gets the forward smash, but unfortunately on the timing, and that'll be a roller to the face. Did not quite react. Maybe that night out last night coming into effect. <laughs> Taking its toll on his reaction times, because if he'd have let go of that smash attack just a tiny bit earlier, he may have he may have sent Mr. R into a really sticky situation. And now Mr. R almost lapping in percent here. Yeah, this is beginning to snowball a little bit out of Magi's control. Finally lapping him, sent, keeping him in the corner as well. Oh, catches him at the ledge, trying to recover a bit too high for comfort. Gets caught with a down smash and loses his second stock. This is looking like if Magi is staring down the barrel at a three stock right now. Yeah, of course, that wolf side B does not snap the ledge immediately. So you are vulnerable during a period. And now just Mr. R once again, allowing this to snowball. But back end, even then, not enough. Tip that was, I think don't think that was quite the tip of back air on Wolf's back on Wolf's back air right there. Covers himself so well with that grenade. That was a recovery setup. And is that it? Yes. It is. Wow, no jump, and he was forced to just see the stock, and that'll be a clean three-stock finish coming out from Mr. R. I really liked that right at the end of the stop, right at the end of the match from Mr. R there. Gets the grenade into such a position on stage that when he chose to recover high, he put Magi between the grenade and himself. Which is he put a grenade? He put himself on the other side of the grenade, meaning that Magi had no choice but to concede stage control. He went from supreme advantage, what should have been supreme advantage, into really heavy disadvantage and lost the match off the back of it as well. Yes, absolutely. Even if Magi was able to shield that grenade, 
Mr. R would have just gone back to center stage and he would have had the advantage, as you said. But going to a large stage now, Kalos, well, main stage is a little smaller, but the overall width of the stage, including the platforms, I would say is a bit larger with Kalos. And limiting recovery options to go to go low as well. We've got one of these flat-sided stages that really means you are prime for dares. Catches the tech, and here's the... Oh, I thought the follow-up was going to be juicy for a second there. Mr. R is putting on a show right now, proving to everybody that, every, that yesterday was not just good fortune. He very much is where he belongs. Yes, less than 30 seconds, and Magi has taken, lost his first stock even. What a sensational stock coming out from Mr. R. Feeling each other out in the neutral. Magi wins the exchange, trying to put some damage on him of his own. Right, finally, the first real sequence, uh, first real combo that we're seeing out from Magi at the moment, but still a lot of work that needs to be done. I said that Mr. R yet to find a hit on this stock. Finally, he gets the first grab. I rip. I'd really like to see a, just a tiny bit more patience from Magi in this situation because what I'm finding is happening is Magi is reaching quite a lot and it's always him moving first and Mr. R reactively punishing. Like right there, beautiful parry on the back air. And it's, it's difficult to want to remain patient in these sorts of situations because you're at such a large deficit, you want to be able to close the gap, but Magi really needs to maintain that resilience so that he can make this comeback properly. Almost losing that second stock there was Magi. And Mr. R's zoning with that grenade is superb, I must say that. And catches the jump. Stop. Shout outs to Killer Jaws, the jump that every player uses to relieve pressure upon themselves. Yeah, the back hit of Nair coming out in clutch right there for Wolf. Really, really good move. Really good hitbox on that move. There we go. Catches the neutral get up with a grab. Just puts him straight back into disadvantage off the ledge. Recovers straight. Manages to check him for being a tiny bit too aggressive. Pulling out the jump, and once again, these side Bs, a little bit ill-advised coming out from Magi. I know, of course, he's going to want to recover quickly onto the stage, but it is very, very vulnerable. Of course, players that, that can play reactively are well-primed to deal with that as a recover, as a like a recovery burst option, if you will. Mm -hmm. And Magi has lost two stocks because of it so far in this set. When you think about it, almost, that's, a, that's a third of his entire stock pool for the set. <laughs> Nice jab, coating, coating him in paint. Durham, do you know the exact damage multiplier when you get coated in like a full coat of paint? I want to say it's times 1.8 okay, damage, that... but that I'm not entirely sure. I think it's times 1.8 for full ink. It is looking quite dominant for Mr. R here in the neutral. Spot dodge, enabling him get, to get the jab combo, send Magi out into disadvantage, and there comes another roller. That should be the set. Mm, impeccable spacing on that retreating there. It looked like he had enough room to breathe and punish, but Mr. R managed to create enough of a gap such that he wasn't able to get the actual punish and was able to get the stock thanks to it. Apologies to the stream. Of course, slipped my mind. We're playing top. We're, we're playing best of five yes. at this point. This is it's top 32. It is all best of five. So that is 2-0 up for Mr. R at the moment, and both players sticking to their characters. No character, no character switches right here. Both players, they have their game plan. They're going out with it. And Magi has faith in the fact that he can find the solution to Mr. R's pressure and Mr. R's superb zoning. His use of grenades so far has been a, a, a seminal so, so far. And almost catches him with the forward air right there. Would have been horrific to have gotten hit by that as well. Would have put him right next to the nap, right next to the uh, the vertical wall of the stage. Ooh, very, very close on that down smash. If he got that two frame, that would have immediately been the end of Mr. R's stock. That's that's something, when you're playing against Wolf, that's the th that is the thing I feel like you need to bear in mind the most. He has a lot that you do need to bear in mind, but the fact that he can two frame you like that at the ledge. Sometimes it hits so early that it's not even a two frame. It just catches you during your recovery. Yep. It is quite nuts, the hitbox on that move, especially for how strong it is. That said, though, it feels like Magic's doing a much better job at the moment, keeping this close comparative to the previous games. Yes, he's... There's his burst option, catches him with a back air, puts him into heavy disadvantage, tries to read the jump again. Oh, he could, maybe he could, he could have read where he was going to land off. That gets caught with the roller and is going to lose his stock off the back of it. Not enough of a fast mash, unfortunately, for Magi. And now he is one stock down once again. But that said, though, this is a percent where Mr. R could potentially lose his stock relatively quickly if Magi is able to find the hit. Hey. 
Mr. R lets two whiffed up tilts go on. Mr. R goes unpunished for two whiffed up tilts. I get the feeling Magi could make a tiny bit better use of F tilt to maybe punish things at a range that most characters couldn't. Oh, he gets caught with Roller again, and now comes the oppression session. Those back airs doing so much damage, but of course, Wolf has a mighty back air of his own, finally able to take that first stock. Yeah, managing to turn massive disadvantage into, into a stock of his own. And now he manages to tack, to tack on some percent. It does feel like gradually, bit by bit, Magi is steadily adapting to Mr. R's neutral habits, but you don't want to be taking those rollers. They are so, so crucial. Yeah. And I think that Mr. R has had a 100% success rate with rollers so far in this set. Oh, well, roller, he hasn't had any shielded, at least. He's, Magi's managed to jump over and avoid a few. There's another, another roller. One. He just knows exactly when he's not going to shield, knows exactly when he's going to release, and just punishes him every time. In addition to that, those parries coming out from Mr. R, just doing so much work for him, but a parry in response coming out from Magi. I really like Magi's patience right there. Just wait, waited so long. That's the kind of thing that makes even top players sweat when you have to, when you have a wolf sitting next to you in the den, and that unfortunately didn't convert into a stop for Magi. Now wolf just waiting to find his prey. Doesn't quite get the down smash yet again, and doesn't get the sweet spot on the up tilt either. Him, sends him close to the blast zone, catches him, catches him trying to recover with the back air, and that is going to even out the stocks right now. Excellent Mag whiff punish right there coming out from uh, Magi. He's applying some pressure. He's applying some pressure of his own. That back air is going to be the threat that can end Mr. S Mr. R's stock it's very early at this point. He m he may be at kill percent after another couple of exchanges. This is a very, very close game between these two. Again, as I said before, we are seeing the steady adaptation from Magi. This is a very, very winnable game from him. Only 10% between these two now. There he opts to fade back that time. And that's where the oppressiveness of Wolf comes in at the ledge. That Nair just lasting so long, covering so many options, but Mr. R dancing around it so well. And there's the roller, gets punished, not quite dead. Finally gets a shield on that, but a little bit too sluggish on that down smash. How will Magi be able to close this stock out? Ledge trap situation once again. Mr. R not able to fully convert. Mr. R maintaining center stage, up throw into up air. Is he going to get confirmed? Yes, he does. And that will be the end of the set. 3-0 for Mr. R. Magi came along. Magi came a long way during that set. He went from getting almost, I think he got three stocks in the first game, and then he steadily adapted, but he just did not adapt in time in that third game. That third game is where you felt like it really clicked for him. Yes. He, he finally managed to get a read on, on a roller and right at the end he just his punish just was not enough to take it and and wolf's back as powerful not quite back powerful enough sorry yeah you know just with a little bit more time the results of that set may have been different but best of five is all you're going to get i'm afraid and that'll be the set 3-0 to mr r but definitely closer in that final game than the result would like to lead on yeah. next up we do have crispy versus urban tub and both these players essentially making upsets in their uh, respective brackets to get to where they are Crispy most notably taking out Whoopi, yes. sending him to losers in a very close 2-1 set. A supreme patient display from Crispy uh, that went right down to the wire. Two, it was 3-2, I believe. Uh, was it? No, sorry, it's 2-1. Two 2-1, one. Two two one, one. sorry. It was 2-1 right down to the wire. Crispy taking it with a really clutch edge guard right at the end. It was one of those nail-biting moments with everybody screaming in the crowd. Mm -hmm. Love to be there. Fantastic. And... Um, Urban Turban taking out both Carnage and Lucrecio. Yes, with uh, Lucina. Very, very clean Lucina so far. Really, really coming through. Uh, I think one of the kind of hidden bosses around Absolutely. this area. Definitely doing really well in this bracket so far. So let's see how he's able to fare against the patient Crispy. Yes. Um, I've seen very little of his Lucina play, but I did catch him playing against Lucrecio on the side stream yesterday. Took that set with a well-read shield break. And uh, the scream from Lucrecio as he got hit. I heard, I heard, the, I heard the, no. That, that is uh, that is 